The benefits of affiliate marketing might seem obvious. You make money, you serve your audience, but what about the not so obvious benefits? Today, I'll share the surprising benefits of affiliate marketing with you, and once you know them, it might just revolutionize your business. Welcome to the Affiliate Guy Podcast. If you want to grow your income, serve your tribe, and enjoy all the benefits of affiliate marketing and having your own affiliates, you're in the right place. Thanks for joining me today. Let's get started. So maybe you're just like me. For more than two years, I was up at 5 a.m. six days a week. I published new content every day. I was spending money left and right on hosting email systems and all that stuff. And I'd made exactly zero dollars. Now, I said that I had a business, but what I really had was an expensive hobby. Now, the weird thing about this, like the funny thing about this is I, I knew all about one of the easiest ways to start monetizing my blog, affiliate marketing. I mean, I'd, I'd worked with some of the top brands in the world. I worked with Shutterfly and Adidas on their affiliate programs. We worked with top entrepreneurs like Michael Hyatt, Ray Edwards, Jeff Goins, and yet I'd never really done it myself. And so for me, and I talked about this in the last episode, like I was ready to give up. It was draining my time, my energy, my money. I just was ready to give up on my blog. I was, I mean, I was done. You know, I wasn't monetizing. I was done. And that's when I did my first affiliate promotion. Uh, I promoted just like I had taught others to do for more than a decade. And it worked. I made $588 in that first promotion. My list was like 800 people. I had proven to myself that I could do it. Right? I could actually make money with my blog. I didn't even need a product to do it. And so over the next two years, I made more than $134,000 in affiliate commissions. I finished in the top 10 in some affiliate competitions. I even won a small one. You know, this is way back when, when I was like, I won an affiliate competition. I can't believe it. I did that with a list that was never larger than about 22, 2,300 people. And for years, I had seen what top affiliates were doing. I'd seen the power of affiliate marketing, yet I wasn't taking advantage of the opportunity right in front of me. I didn't have a product but I did have a big problem because I was losing money and affiliate marketing was the answer to my problem. Now that $134,000 that might seem like the most obvious benefit to affiliate marketing, but I actually have 21 more benefits that you might not have even thought of. These are the surprising or hidden benefits of affiliate marketing that can help all areas of your online business. And over the next few episodes, I'm going to share what they are. Before I share the first seven or so today, if you're looking for affiliate promote, uh, programs to promote, if you're looking for affiliate programs to promote, check out mattmcwilliams.com forward slash what's up. mattmcwilliams.com forward slash what's up. We have all of our recommended affiliate programs and launches on there so that uh, you can keep up with those. Like we're constantly updating this list. And, uh, and and putting new programs on there, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash what's up. We just added uh, Bobby Klink's legal templates, which is perfect if your audience is building websites or starting an affiliate program or you know starting a podcast. If you have course creators, coaches, membership site owners, people like that, we just added the virtual summit formula. This is the training for learning how to run a profitable virtual summit with our clients, Jason and Cecilia Hilke. Uh, they've run you know, multiple hundred thousand attendee summits and they'll show your audience how you can, how they can do the same. We've got Trevor Blattner's redefining the top 1% book launch. So this is like, this got a great funnel, hundreds of dollars in commissions with each order from a book that's going to show your audience how to enhance their personal performance in leadership capacity through his step-by-step evidence-based behaviors uh, these are all three of our clients, plus we've got some non-clients on there, all of our recommended affiliate programs. Check those out, mattmcwilliams.com forward slash what's up. We'll put the link in the show notes as well. So why should you start affiliate marketing right now? Like I said, I've got 21 reasons for you that we're going to be sharing over the next few episodes. And it starts with number one, that you can start monetizing right now. Start monetizing immediately, <laughs> like right now. Selling your own products takes a lot of time. 
Like you got to learn what people want. You got to package the product if it's, you know, either physically or digitally, right? You got to create the marketing materials. It takes a lot of time, a lot of time. Unlike your products, however, you can start monetizing your platform from day one. That's exactly what I did. As I said, I made more than $134,000 in affiliate commissions before I ever sold a single thing of my own. That's a lot of money that didn't require a lot of planning, didn't require money in advance, or I mean, it didn't really require a lot of work, to be honest with you. With affiliate marketing, you can literally start today making money. You don't need a product of your own. You don't need a huge audience to justify selling something. Number two, there's no barrier to entry. There's no barrier to entry. Like if you want to create a course, I'm looking at a, a thing on my desk here about golf. So we'll just go with that. Uh, if you're creating a course about how to have a better golf swing, you got to have a video camera. You got to create a course outline. You got to create the time to record the course and take it. You got to edit the course materials or, you know, hire somebody to do it. You got to create the sales materials or DIY that like you, in other words, you got to have a lot of time or money or both really. If you were going to promote someone else's course about the golf swing as an affiliate, all you need is internet access. That's it. You can literally sign up today to start promoting affiliate offers and begin promoting them tomorrow. No cost to you and a minimal investment of time. And this applies, I share this because even if you've been around for a while, anytime you're entering a new niche or you want to test something out, use affiliate marketing to test it out. We'll talk more about that in some of the other reasons. Third, it's easy to scale. You know, affiliate marketing has such a low barrier to entry, it is much easier to scale. You want to make more money? Add a few more promotions. It's, it's really that simple. You don't have to add more staff. You don't have to buy new tools. You just do a little bit more promoting and you make more money with your own stuff. Like say you have a course, right? If you double your sales, you'll probably need to add another customer service person. Uh, if you, let's say you have a community, you know, if you double your, you know, your double your sales, you got to add a community manager. You need a tech guru to manage everything. Like along the way, you'll need even more people to make it all work. Unlike other parts of your business, affiliate marketing generally scales at the rate of your email list or your blog traffic growth or your social media following, right? The more people you have, the more commissions you make. Very simple. Uh, you, you increase your commissions, you increase your sales without any extra effort. That's pretty freaking awesome. Like I've heard often, like one of the things about, you know, again, I'm not against, just for the record, I'm not against having your own stuff. I We use affiliate marketing, as we'll talk about in the upcoming episodes, to learn how to promote your own stuff. But one of the little misconceptions is like, I know when our business, we went from, you know, half a million to a million to $2 million. Um, I didn't make an astronomical, like an astronomically lot more money. When I, in fact, personally, when we went from like 300,000 a year to a million to 2 million, I mean, that's what, seven times more money. I think I made twice as much. It's not a huge, like dramatic increase, Right. Because as we increased our sales, we needed more people to do this and more people to do this and more people to do this and that and that and that. And like there was a lot of costs. There's not really a lot of, we'll talk about this in number five, but it's really easy to scale affiliate marketing. There's not a lot of hidden costs. Number four, no fulfillment required. This is what I love the most. When you make an affiliate sale, you don't have to do anything unless you're offering bonuses and you should be, okay? You should be. And if you if you go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash AFF bonuses, uh, I'll share why and how you should create bonuses, but like you don't have to do anything. Like there's nothing left to do once the sale is made. The product, the product owner handles all the fulfillment. So you don't have to send any emails. You don't have to process refunds. You don't have to like reset logins, no live calls to do and all that stuff. Like you get to serve your tribe without all the hassle. And I love that. So there's no fulfillment required. Fifth, there's no hidden costs. No hidden costs. Like this is what I, you know, I just touched on this, right? This is like the often overlooked truth about creating your own products or courses. You don't make as much as you think you will. You don't make as much as you think you will. Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge fan of creating courses and products, right? That's why I've created so many already and I've got more on the way, but there, there are these hidden costs that most people don't think about. Like well, you've got to pay the affiliate commissions. If you've got affiliates, that can be 30 to 50%. 
let's just go 40% there. Industry standard. You got affiliate prizes, which will count for another, you know, 15, no, five to 15%. So we'll just say 10%. So now you're at 50%. You got the credit card processing. That's going to cost you about 3%, 53% now. You've got the course software, the course hosting. For us, that's usually going to be about one or 2%, but now we're at like 54, 55%. You got customer service reps. Typically, that'll cost us anywhere from three, 4%. Um, so now we're at, what do we have? 54, 57%. You got video production. Typically that'll cost us around two to 10%, you know, depending upon how many you sell, but let's just go with 3%. So now we're at like 60%, right? Plus the copywriting, the sales page, the tech people, all that stuff, right? Easily more than 50% of your revenue can immediately go out the window. Sometimes, you know, if you've got, a say a million dollar launch, it can be 65%. If you get a $2 million launch, it usually will drop down to 60. A $5 million launch, it'll drop down to like 55. But still, you know, if you're running a million dollar launch, 65% of your money is gone. Affiliate marketing, on the other hand, costs you virtually nothing. Like the 50% commission, it's yours to keep. So imagine this, you're promoting it. Let's use the 40% number. You get to keep all 40%. So it's like, oh, I made 100 sales of this $2,000 product. I'll just use round numbers and say that's 800 bucks. So 100 sales would be $80,000 versus selling $200,000 of your own stuff and 65% going out the window. You make $70,000. You make more from the affiliate side. <laughs> like now granted, that's not true typically when you get into the millions, but you're probably not going to sell $5 million worth of an affiliate product versus $5 million of your own. But still, you get the idea there. There's no hidden cost. You know that if you if it says you made $10,000, you made $10,000, right? Six, there's no risks. If you set out to create a physical product, there is inherent, an inherent risk, all right? Even like, you know, the, the physical product, like I know because I've got shelves of stuff that I've never sold before. I've got a friend of mine who's, his wife hasn't been able to park in the garage for like three years because he got boxes of stuff, right? But even an online course has a certain level of risk. A lot of these expenses you're going to have, they're front end expenses. So you're going to, you're going to pay, pay those expenses, whether or not you make any money or not. So a moment ago, I talked about like hiring customer service reps and things like that. Those are incremental expenses. You, you probably don't need a customer service rep if you're only going to have 50 sales, right? Your credit card processing is a, is an incremental thing. Like that's, that's a 3% cost. You know, if you make one sale, you're only going to pay one sale of a thousand dollar course, you're going to pay 30 bucks. But if you make a hundred sales, you're going to pay, you know, $3,000, right? But a lot of these things like video production, um, you know, copywriting, the tech side of things like setting up the funnel, um, hosting soft, you know, the software and things like that. That's, that's front end expenses. You will pay those expenses even if you don't make a dime. Affiliate marketing, on the other hand, you typically have no front end expenses. Maybe, I, I don't know what you might have. You might have one. There's really none. So there's literally no risk at all to promoting affiliate offers no risk at all. Now, the only risk that people sometimes think is like, what about unsubscribes, right? Well, if I promote affiliate offers, my unsubscribes are going to go up because I'm get promoting these outside things, you know, like I get it, right? I get that line of thinking because I felt that way once too, right? It's, it's just not a reasonable fear. If someone unsubscribes from your list because you promoted something to them, who cares? Email list size is a vanity number, right? I mean, like once you get past about a thousand people, I, I mean, I know people who have lists under 5,000 people who are making cl close to seven figures. You are running a business, not a feel good charity. Okay. Your objective is to make money and only people who buy something make you money. If, if you, that's it. People who don't buy stuff don't make you money. If you don't like that harsh reality, you might want to find another line of work. Your potential buyers are not going to unsubscribe because you offered them something of value that might be a good fit for them. They are much more likely to buy the affiliate offer than unsubscribe. So even if you do lose one potential buyer, maybe somebody unsubscribes that would have bought something of yours down the road, you more than make up for it. 
with the affiliate commissions. So let's just say you lose one buyer, okay? Maybe. It's probably not accurate. But you got 40 people to buy the affiliate offer. You, you made a lot more money. Like it's totally worth losing that one buyer. So really there's no risk to promoting affiliate offers, whether it be the front end expenses or the losing subscribers. And seventh, there's no customer service. Here's how affiliate marketing works. <laughs> Step one, you make the sale. Step two, you are done. That's it. I, don't get me wrong. I mean, I said this before. Please do not misunderstand me. I want you to have your own products. Having your own products is great. It's why we've created, I mean, we have 20 products. Okay, it's smart. It's very profitable. But there are also a lot of headaches, okay? Headaches that you don't have with affiliate promotions. I can handle those headaches now because I have a team to handle them. There was a period of time where we were kind of transitioning. We were bringing on team members, but I was still kind of handling some of the stuff. And, and they were headaches. Like people, well, this book didn't get to them. Why? Because I live in Indiana and we were shipping them from Indiana and Indianapolis post office is a joke. It's like notorious. It's like something like a quarter of all the packages lost in the United States were lost through Indianapolis last year. And it's some absurd stat like that. You know, they're losing like 1% of all the mail. <laughs> and so when people aren't getting the books, uh, that sucks. But you don't have to deal with that as an affiliate. Like I love serving customers. We do our best to super serve everyone we come in contact with. Okay. Our buyers, uh, everybody on our list, we, we want to super serve you. But sometimes it's nice to sell something and not have to worry about login issues or th well, this video is not working because I'm on a Windows 98 machine. Don't be on Windows 98. <laughs> you know, uh, well, my credit card doesn't work or just like rude customers. Not you. You're cool. But <laughs> like we do have some rude customers. And so I love one aspect about affiliate promotions is that there's no customer service. So to recap, number one, you can start monetizing immediately. You can start making money today. Number two, no barrier to entry. Okay, you, There's nothing holding you back. You've got internet access. How else are you listening to this? Number three, it's easy to scale. Okay, It's easy to scale. You want to make more money? You do more promotions. Number four, no fulfillment required. Number five, there's no hidden costs, especially those front-end costs, which means no risk. Number six, there's no risk. To promoting affiliate offers and number seven no customer service uh, we'll cover the next seven in the next episode and i'm excited to share those with you we're going to talk a little bit more about how it teaches you how to sell and things like that to get you ready to promote your own offers um, and if you're looking for those affiliate promotions to promote as i mentioned just go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash what's up We'll put that link in the show notes along with some of the other links I mentioned today. mattmcwilliams.com forward slash what's up. We've got all of our recommended affiliate programs there. So go check those out and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you so much for listening today. Remember to check out all of our deep dives into affiliate marketing at theaffiliateguide.tv. And if you have a question, ask it at asktheaffiliateguide.com. Who knows? Maybe you even be featured on an upcoming episode. And lastly, if you haven't yet, make sure to leave a rating and review wherever you're listening to this episode. See you soon.